Jessie V and in today's video I'm going to be telling you a bizarre night shift story from Toys R Us. There are so many stories online from people who work the night shift that have experienced something so creepy, eerie, out of the ordinary and when I saw one from Toys R Us I was all over that. When I was a kid this was like my place to be. This was my playground. I love Toys R Us. But I am so creeped out by this story. It's like baffling to me. So yeah I just had to tell you guys as well. This is about an employee named Jamie that worked at a Toys R Us back in 2005 and one day they got a strange box of dolls delivered. Now obviously it was normal for them to get huge toy deliveries all week long because they are a huge company. The store was incredibly popular back in the day but usually staff was prepared for what toys were arriving. When they opened the box there were about 50 of these baby dolls with long brown hair but what was really strange was that they were oddly tall like their legs were so unproportionate from the rest of their body like when Jamie looked at them he saw aliens like he thought that these dolls looked like aliens it was like humanoid creatures that resembled baby dolls the other very unsettling thing was that the packaging of these dolls said take me home and I'll be your secret friend but don't tell anyone because they won't understand what does that even mean as weird as Jamie thought these dolls were he spent the next couple hours putting them up on the shelves now a week went by and nobody was buying the dolls. They were the only toys in the store that weren't selling, which was bizarre because usually when Toys R Us restock something or put up a new toy, people were all over that, but not for these dolls. Some customers would go up to staff and would ask things like, what are those dolls? I have never seen them in any commercial before. So finally, after about 28 days of these dolls just sitting untouched on the shelves, a little girl went over and begged her mother to buy one. As she was in the checkout line, buying the doll, the mother told Jamie, listen, this doll really gives me the creeps, but her birthday's coming up and I guess I'll get her what she wants. So the girl skipped out of the store happily with her new doll. But a week later, her mother came back in asking to return the doll. And when Jamie asked her why, she said that her daughter claimed that the doll was telling her mean things. And Jamie was shocked because that doll wasn't built with any speaker or talking mechanism. It was just a simple doll with no batteries. But the mother said the doll was saying things like, I don't want you to have any friends but me. And nobody likes you, so you should be alone. Jamie was appalled and said that they would never sell a doll like that in their store. And the mother nodded and said that her daughter probably just had a very creative imagination. That night after the store closed, Jamie had to stay an extra three hours to clean up and stock some of the new items. Just after 10 p.m., he heard the sound of sobbing coming from somewhere in the store. Now, most of the lights were off, so it was hard to see. The aisles were super dark and to him it sounded like someone might have been accidentally locked inside the store after closing Maybe it was a kid that got like separated from their parents So he started to follow the sound and after a couple minutes it changed the sobbing turned into a small voice that said Hello, come and find me Want to be friends? Don't tell anyone. And immediately he thought of those strange new dolls. He walked up to them and looked as they stared at him from the shelves. How the heck are they talking? He thought to himself. He examined them further, looking for a button. He couldn't see anything obvious, so he searched and searched until finally he found one. It was hidden right beneath the doll's sleeve and it was the tiniest button he'd ever seen. It was so small that parents would never be able to find it when purchasing the doll, but something that kids would discover while playing with the doll later on. Jamie pressed the button and was horrified to hear the doll say, I'm your only friend. You should only talk to me now. People think you're boring. People just really don't like you. And it went on and on and on. He could not believe how many sentences these people had programmed into the doll. He decided that the next day at work, he would notify management to get rid of the dolls. So in the morning, he led his manager down the aisle towards these dolls. He explained to her what happened and he showed her that tiny, tiny button underneath the doll's sleeve. And the manager said, oh, that's strange because the doll wasn't advertised as having any batteries or any speaking mechanism. And Jamie told her that it was because the parents weren't supposed to know about it. Only the kids were supposed to find out later, which is so creepy. That's like the creepiest part of this whole thing. So the manager pushed the button and the only thing that came out of this doll was sweet and kind words like, You're so pretty. 
I'm so glad to have you. I love you so much. Now, Jamie ended up quitting that afternoon because he was so confused and disturbed. Management would not remove the dolls because they found nothing wrong with them. But Jamie knew that something was very wrong, and he knew that the next night shift worker would find out soon enough. And uh, that is how the story ends. Now, honestly, I feel like this is a creepypasta. I know it's advertised as a true story from a real night shift worker, and who knows, maybe it is. Maybe like some creepy and weird company created these these creepy dolls to scare kids. I have no idea. I mean, there are some evil people in this world, but to me, it does sound like a fictional creepypasta. Let me know what you think down below. I mean, if it's not, maybe also comment down below if you've ever had this doll. I hope you have it because that's horrible. But anyway, so guys, if you want me to continue doing these creepy night shift stories, let me know, give this video a thumbs up and maybe comment what store you want me to find some night shift stories from next. Anyway, so guys, don't forget we have the new light up aliens on the website. We have restocked them because they sold out so quickly. Thank you guys so much for all of your support with everything that I do and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!